I have heard people say that willpower is not real and willpower doesn't matter. I disagree firmly with that because I know from my training in the gym that willpower is extremely real. Prove to yourself that you have something left in the tank, even when it seems like there's nothing. Willpower is such a fascinating thing and everyone has a certain level of willpower. Yours may be high, it may be low. It all depends on who you are, but you have a certain level of willpower. But did you know that you can increase your willpower? And that's what we're going to discuss today. I'm going to be speaking with you about how you can increase your willpower, especially if you're someone who knows that you need to increase your willpower. So this is Mark Johnson, the founder of Bounce Pet, bringing you ideas for a fit and flourishing future. Of course, I am the youngest son of Bill Johnson. Are you a subscriber? Okay. Are you not? Well, subscribe now. Please do so. With all that said, the first thing that I want to do is explain to you the definition of willpower. If you go to the Bounce Pep website, you will see something called the Bounce Pep Dictionary. If you go in there, you will actually see willpower in the dictionary and it has a definition next to it. And it is this. Willpower is your mind's capacity to regulate your emotions and impulses and therefore your actions. Okay? Willpower is your mind's capacity to regulate your emotions and your impulses and therefore your actions. That's all it is. Nothing complicated. But a lot of people struggle with this. Now, I have heard people say that willpower is not real and willpower doesn't matter. I disagree firmly with that because I know from my training in the gym that willpower is extremely real. There have been lifts, there have been reps where the, the only reason that I completed the rep was the sheer willpower to get it done. And I'm telling you, it doesn't happen at every session, but just every once in a while, maybe like every, every few months, I'll have a session where I'm doing a lift and it gets to a point where I've got this one last rep and it seems absolutely impossible to, to complete this rep. And I'm like stuck kind of in the middle of it. I just, I can't seem to get through the rep, but willpower kicks in. There's just something inside of me that says I'm going to finish this rep come hell or high water. And I have these experiences and I push through somehow and complete the rep. This is despite the fact that as far as I can tell, there was nothing left physically in my muscle but somehow my mind, I was able to override the natural kind of uh, desire to just give up. I was able to override that and just somehow complete that rep. And the only reason is because of willpower. Again, it's not every session, not every workout, but every once in a while I have that experience. And I'm telling you, it is only because of willpower. So Everything that you do at the gym is practice and preparation for life outside of it, okay? So I don't want you to be in the gym just lifting weights and thinking it's, it's just about muscle. No, it's about your mind. If you can combine muscle with intellect, do you understand how powerful you become, okay? Muscle and intellect combine. So always remember, everything that you're doing out at the gym has an intellectual component. You can learn something from it, okay? And we're talking about willpower today. You know, a lot of you may have a problem. You go to the grocery store and you've got the aisles with the potato chips and the candy and all that sweet stuff and pastries and things that you know you shouldn't be eating, but you just can't help it. You, you find yourself in those aisles picking up a bunch of junk food because you just can't help it. And that's the problem of willpower. When you know you need to make a, dec a different decision, but you make the wrong decision, then that is a question of willpower. That's a problem of your willpower. So I want you to know, if you're someone who's training a lot to, at the gym, then the gym offers you an incredible opportunity to work on, you can actually train your willpower. You can build your 
willpower. Practically speaking, I want you to do this, okay? Because your mind gives up before your muscles do. This is always the case. Your mind gives up before your muscles do. And so you've got to override your desire to quit at the gym. We all get to that point when we're lifting at the gym, okay, where we say, okay, I've had enough. I'm finished. I'm exhausted. I'm done. I can't do any more. This is it. I'm going home. Now, when you get to that point, this can be at your next session. The next time you go to the gym, I want you to do this, okay? You're going to work on increasing your willpower. When you get to that point, where you have completed your very last set and you've made a decision to go home, okay? This is a decision. So like in your mind, you're about to go home. I want you to stop yourself in your tracks and tell yourself, wait a minute, let's do two more sets, okay? I'm going to do two more sets. Now, the key is this. Between the time that you tell yourself that you're going to quit and go home and the time that you decide that you're not going to go home and you're going to do you're going to force out two more sets. I don't want you to take any more than 45 seconds. OK. So in other words, when you decide to go home, I want you to reverse that decision immediately. Give yourself no more than a 45 second break. And I want you to go back to whatever that last exercise that you were doing. Okay. And I want you to go to failure. Do as many reps as you can. Now, that may be five reps. It may be 10. It may be two reps, whatever that is. But give yourself 45 seconds of rest. Okay. Between your decision to quit and your decision not to quit. And then Keep repping until failure, okay? Next, at this point, you are absolutely not going to want to do anything else. Like you're just, your mind is going to be like, okay, I don't wanna do this anymore. I've absolutely had enough, but guess what? There's one more set. Between the end of that last set, Okay, and the beginning of the next set you're gonna do, I want you to take no more than 30 seconds. So you're gonna have a shorter rest period, 30 seconds, that's it. And I want you to start repping again. Now, if all you can do is one rep, do one rep. I don't care if that's all you can do. If you can get out five more or seven more, 15, whatever it is, however many reps you can get out, go until absolute failure okay and the reason for those two sets okay so these are these are the two sets that you're doing after you supposedly decided to quit and go home right the reason for these two sets is because you're training yourself to dig deep when you really need to okay dig deep when you really need to in those times where you may not necessarily want to dig deep and you may not have any other choice, but you have, you must dig deep. You're training your mind to do that. And remember what I told you, your mind gives up before your muscles do. I guarantee you that no matter how tired you are at the end of your workout, I guarantee you that you still had something in the tank. If you override your mind's desire to quit, you will find out, you will discover that you still had something in the tank. Even, even if it was just one extra rep, you still had it, okay? Heaven forbid, it, it, it could be 10 reps. You, you could have actually more reps than you even dreamed you had. Be, your mind has that kind of power, okay? But I want you to do this, okay? So next time you go to the gym, and it must be at the point where you have decided to go home, okay? Th this is very important. You cannot decide beforehand that you're going to do this. This must be at the end of your workout when you have made a decision. You said, I'm going home. I want you to reverse that decision and do these two extra sets until failure. Train your mind, okay? Everything that you do at the gym is practice and preparation for life outside of it, and you can build your willpower. I'm telling you, you can build your 
willpower. Prove to yourself that you have something left in the tank, even when it seems like there's nothing. I want you to prove to yourself that you still got something in there. So take that with you. I'm going to talk to you again next week, but for this week, next time you go to work out, I want you to build that willpower. All right. Take care.